Hello YouTube, this is Delta8030 and uh, I'm coming at you with an unboxing today of slash review of my Alaska Airlines Q400 by Gemini Jets. Now um, this was one of the new models that I've gotten. Um, as you guys might be able to tell, I'm using a different camera today. Um, so yeah, that's what my plan is to unbox this model for you guys and tell you guys about it. Hopefully this camera will help me go into greater detail than my old one was because honestly my old one pretty much sucked when it came to details. Um, so I might also show you some details on the, the United that I tried to do a couple days ago. Or not a couple days ago, yesterday. So um, yeah, I decided to do this one today because um, Gemini Jets 2011 just reviewed his um, United Express Q400. Um, and uh, I guess I'm going to follow the same way and do the... Uh, Alaska Airlines slash Horizon uh, Q400. Um, it's in the Alaska Airlines titles now. Uh, this plane used to be in the Horizon colors, but Horizon has since been rebranded back into the entire Alaska Airlines um, main body kind of. Alaska used to have like the Horizon section, and then they had the uh, the Alaska main fleet, but now it's just all Alaska. Um, so yeah, that's a cool thing I think they did. I like the Alaska livery. I'm going to miss Horizon because I used to see them all the time when we went to Palm Springs to see our grandparents. But um, it's definitely cool to see a different livery on the on the Q400. And uh, so yeah, without keeping talking, let's get to the review. So here is the box, Gemini Jets logo, Q400. Um, this is the latest evolution of the um, of the Dash 8 so um, as you can see Alaska Horizon and then uh, so really nice printing you got Alaska Airlines titles and then you got sort of a green I don't, I don't know why they chose green but they went with green there's a little bit of green on the Alaska Airlines planes but, but not that much I don't know why they would put green um, here's the back there's the aircraft climbing as always on the Gemini Jets boxes, Gemini Jets 2012, this is a new model, um, fairly new release, um, obviously, because uh, this rebranding was pretty recent, I guess, so definitely cool to see, though, them uh, do this. So, that's the box, oh, the flap, nice details about the Q400, um, the Q400, like I said, is just the next evolution of the Dash 8 series. It really should say Dash 8 Q400, but most people just refer to it as the Q400 because it is so different from all the other Dash 8s. Um, so yeah, originally uh, Dash 8s were manufactured by de Havilland, but uh, Bombardier took over de Havilland. Um, so now it's all Bombardier, and of course Bombardier is famous for their um, Canada Air Regional Jets, which once again were manufactured by someone else before them. So, here's the aircraft overall. Um, these are longer than people think. They're actually about as long as my CRJ900 is. Um, here's, the, here's the CRJ900, and um, here's the Dash 8. And uh, as the, 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 um, the CRJ900 looks smaller because it's farther away, but um, they're about the same length. So let's go into detail. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Nice focusing. There's the Alaska Horizon titles, the door, and right up there you can see it says operated by Horizon, right up by the cockpit doors. Not sure what it says underneath. Um, I really couldn't tell you. Oh, yeah. You know, you got windshield wipers here. Really good door detail. Um, this has the new modified door, right? Let's see. I can't even get my finger in there right there it's got the new like that's that door wasn't there originally that's an add-on um, if we turn it to the front you get your line number 441 and of course you got your um, windshield wipers really good detail um, if we turn it this way let's see come on focus for me come on there we go uh, Alaska Horizon got your nice moving prop blades the yellow tips and then of course there's your little bit of green on the body of the engine really good wing detail I like the way the wings are mounted on these aircraft it looks really sweet um, you get your Pratt and Whitney engines I believe yeah um, Pratt and Whitney 150 turbo props are what is used on the Q400 um, you got your nice landing gear good detail um, there's your registration come on and uh, your cargo door 
So that's where the cargo door is on the da on the Q400. It's kind of back behind the cabin, not so much underneath. Come on, focus. There we go. At November 441 Quebec X-ray. Then you got a nice APU detail, the American flag right there. You can even see the little intake for the APU right there, which is really cool. And then of course you got your Alaska Eskimo logo, and then you got your vertical, ta uh, your horizontal tailplane, and um, some good detail behind the engines as well. Um, you like the little like exhaust kind of I don't know, really good detail. Um, just an overall really great model. Um, recommend getting it if you're an Alaska Airlines fan. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm making Alaska Airlines a Focus airline at my airport, so. Uh, I figured this was a pretty important one to get. I'm also hoping Gemini Jets comes out with the um, CRJ. Um, Gemini Jets, the CRJ 700 that Alaska uses um, from SkyWest. So um, I hope they come out with that one. Underneath, um, really nice detail on the landing gear. Um, Gemini Jets logo stand hole. And uh, really good striping detail. Just really nice. You want to put it on the stand real fast. You know what, I really could have taken this one out of the box if I wanted to, because this camera actually does sit on a base. Oh man. There we go. There it is on the stand. Really nice, as you guys can tell. Um, just a really good looking aircraft overall. Um, it's comparable to the United Express one that Gemini Jets 2011 reviewed just a little while ago. Um, just a different livery. I really like the livery though. I mean, I'm a big fan of Alaska, so I do enjoy seeing this livery on the Dash 8. Although I will miss the Horizon one, like I said. So that one was a really cool livery. So I told you guys I would show you some details from that United because I figure it's worth doing because this United aircraft is just so cool looking. And I think my last video really didn't do it justice. There's the, you know, look how, look how much better this camera is. It's just got the, the definition is just so much better. There you can see that winglet up up and close with the striping on it. Of course, then oh come on, focus! Don't don't bail on me now. Nice United titles. You got your stars. Good details. Just there's the A320 Friendship. Um, cockpit doors. More titling, and of course you got your United tail. Um, and then the registration. I just feel this camera is way better. I'm going to start using this camera from now on, guys. Um, I know my other one's not that good, so this one is way better. Cargo door, the front one, the back one, and the um, bulk cargo door. That's some good top detailing. You got nice engines on it. Um, this one just looks really good. Like I said, one of my favorite liveries. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start doing videos on this on this camera because it's just it's just a better camera. Um, it just has may, way more detail. You can capture way more detail with this camera. So that'll pretty much do it for this video. Um, I might do another one today. Um, I really like this camera, so I'm I'm feeling like I'm on a roll. So without any uh, more talk, this is a uh, Delta eight thirty. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you next video. Bye.